Hey guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and I'm out here in the shop getting ready to head into the house. And uh, I've been puttering around on the bike some more today. And I'm going to start with the last thing I did first, and that is uh, putting this piece of stainless steel on right here. Um, seeing as how that wheel that I had on there, this doofliki down here wasn't wasn't lighting up. I decided to just cover up the end of that uh, sprocket axle on this side and uh, it adds a little more interest to this side of the bike. And uh, here's another thing we did. Look at them. Look pretty good, huh? They're just sitting on there at the moment, but uh, they'll get glued on so that they stay right there in place. And I found out from running the bike today that uh, the sponge filter will not work in my velocity stack. It uh, doesn't allow enough air through there. So, and the screen didn't stay stuck. So at the moment we're just going with uh, the velocity stack itself. And it seems to work fine that way. And then, coming around the other side, um, I made up a new bracket right here for my idler wheel. Uh, it's not spring-loaded like I had hoped, but it should do the trick. Um, and I've um, already tested it running, and I'll insert a clip right here. And I should tell you that the I found a um, master link for my chain today. The one that I I had tried to use was this vintage one that I had. Benny's is a home and auto shop. A store back in uh, Massachusetts. I don't know what other states it gets into. But uh, can you see the price on there? 39 cents. That was for a master link. And uh, I put it on and when I tried to spread the spring clip just enough to snap it in place it broke. And uh, I kind of figured that that Master Link is probably more than 40 years old and it was a little bit brittle. So anyway, I went to the dump today and one of the things I found at the dump was this. This is a chain off of a garage door opener. Just like the chain that's here on the bicycle. And it had a Master Link on the end of it. So I picked that up and brought that home. And I also, out of that same garage door opener, I didn't take the whole thing, but I took this part off it because it's got another sprocket. Just in case, you know, can't have not enough, uh, can never have too many spares. So yeah. And then the last thing I think that I did, well, it wasn't the last thing that I did, but the last thing that I'm going to show you, is the light mounted and uh, keeping with my wrenches and so forth I uh, shortened up a deep socket and mounted it right on there there was already thread with a, a threaded insert there on the fender and uh, yeah so that's gonna be great because that gives us uh, you know some real bling you know Well, there we go. And uh, yeah, so that pretty much takes care of uh, the bike and what I did on it today. Another thing I picked up while I was at the dump was a, a couple more bicycles. And uh, I also found, um, found some more materials for the next, one of the next builds 
found that there and oh I, let's see what else did I find I found this there can use that on the next build and I found another one of these and uh, I still may end up using this somewhere I don't know I could mount that up in there to cover the top of that or I don't know I have some different ideas for some other bling things you know we got to have more bling maybe I could just mount it right up in here you know just give it a little more detail you know if I just uh, stuck it up in there like that maybe you know Nah, that don't look that good so it's going to go on there anyway so yeah that's where we're at at the moment on that and uh, I'm pretty happy with the progress we're just about now at the point where I got to start tearing it down and finishing up my welds and I actually did some checking in my paint stock I do have some metallic red actually and uh, but I think I'm going to be doing a fade job uh, I also have some um, I forget what they call it but it's kind of a metallic very light metallic gold color that they use on Cadillacs and stuff like that so I might be using that in the blend with a candy apple red and who knows we might even get some uh, green in there somewhere but uh, so probably the next video on the bicycle will be tearing it down and I forgot to make one phone call today I was gonna check and see how much it would cost to have the frame sandblasted I think that would be easier than me manually stripping uh, the frame down but I'll do what I have to do I may not um, have the funds to have it sandblasted so we'll work at it as we can so until next time this is George oh I got one more thing I was thinking about before I put it down I didn't pay five dollars for that that was the price I put on it I was thinking about putting those up in here maybe somehow up in here like that I don't know what do you think and the thing is that these bars on here light up how cool would that be this would be a well-lit gadget bike wouldn't it yeah well like I said time to go in the house I'm getting cold and uh, it's uh, what time is it oh yeah it's going on seven o'clock time for this old man to go in I haven't had any lunch today so until next time this is George the Shade Tree Fix-It Man saying thanks for watching and following along and all your support. I appreciate it. Bye now.